I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate... Really? That tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado! Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Oh, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier. You're right. That soldier, armed with a buster sword, highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here. Get him on board. Prep for takeoff. The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Quick, get the camera off him. Secure. We are exfilling via helo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. <laughs> the, the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear anything. Oh no, we're not quite kill you. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey!
Master Sword! Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. We've got the time. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, was boring as hell. Well, that wasn't it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came out. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Some point. 
Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Hmm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. On another one of those Turks gigs. Uh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends at R12! Let's go. in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain, only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Feel. I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents, though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. about this. Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off-duty till sundown.
bit more. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. Did you come from Midgard too? Trip up the mountain. Bow, wow, wow. Hey, what's Big Girl like? Tell me! Please! Stop! Keep him! Hey! Don't run away from me! You're gonna save me. What? Oh, so you're who they sent to see. Don't you worry. We'll make sure you guys are ready for your hike. Goodness! Is that you, Cloud? Shard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Should you need my help, just say the word. City folk are so sophisticated. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. survey team was here. Thanks for coming. We really can't handle this ourselves. You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? Weak legs betray a weak mind. Oh, here off duty. <laughs> Isn't that Takes me back. Ever since we heard a survey team was coming. Finally. Soon these troubles will be uh. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. Remember my cat? Her name was...
fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. You went into my room? I did. You went through my stuff? I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You asshole! Did you actually play it? You could have just left it alone, you know. Ugh. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're just... You look so different. are reserved for you, Shinra boys, so take your pick. You'll find them just up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years. City folk are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives must be like.
<laughs> Most soldiers are gonna fail. Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir! Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't- Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on.
for a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on, where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah. I... guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could hire them? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burn down. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that This is how it's going to be. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do.
I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the mansion. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town, and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village open. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or yeah. something? What if he's sick and needs our help? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L 77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M-E-G-L 913-1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. Was it? He stayed holed up in the basement, reading, reading, like a man possessed.
We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Need your help! Sephiroth did this 
Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now! He yes, sir! <sighs> Get you up.
I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! 
Whoever the hell you are! That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? No, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Oh. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering. What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <sighs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, 
You up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though, there's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? 
If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Might I suggest retiring to your room for the evening? It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> 